illustrator with Stampin' Up. Welcome to my little craft corner. I have two programs that I have developed a database for that I am willing to share on my website at www.bevadams.com. And one is my spreadsheet on Excel. And it has every product, every current product that is available in the Stampin' Up! catalog. The cool thing about this is that I can sort um, by product or I can sort by the catalog and page number or maybe I have a, an item number that I need to know what the product is for or I can sort by price or I can sort by the type and it makes it really easy to find the information that I'm looking for. Today is a very quick introduction to my Excel spreadsheet. I have primarily products from the 15-16 annual catalog. There are a few supply items that are available to demonstrators like the catalog 8 packs and there are also a few um, stamp sets like the photopolymers that are available only online like Bite Me and Better Than Email. But when the holiday catalog comes out in a few months I will include those in this spreadsheet. If you are not familiar with Excel, what you want to do is always keep this row of titles on the top. I usually freeze the panels. So right now they are frozen, I believe. If you go up to view, freeze. If you go up to view, freeze panes. Right now they're frozen, so I'm going to unfreeze them. If, they, if your spreadsheet is unfrozen, then when you go to look at other things, you don't know what products you're looking at anymore. Or if you're looking down your list, you don't know what categories. And it's really helpful to have those two things up there. Sometimes I freeze over here so I see all the prices. So let me show you that right now. I'm going to make sure I'm at the top of my spreadsheet. So I've got row one with my titles. Row two is the first in alphabetical order. So I'm going to go to the type, which will keep me the product, catalog, and page number, all the item numbers and prices. Go to view, freeze pane, and freeze the row and the column visible. So then when I go down my spreadsheet, this top row stays there. And if I want to look to the other columns, I still have the prices and the item numbers. If you are, if you want to sort, click the, the square that's to the left of the alphabet and above the numbers. The alphabet describes the cell number. So this is column K and this is row 89. So this cell where it says 25 yards is K89. If I want to select everything on my spreadsheet, I'm going to click this square that's to the left of the alphabet and above all the numbers and that grays the whole entire spreadsheet out. Then I can sort by going to data sort. I want to be sure and click my data has headers. That's that top row with the names on it. And now this has all those names listed here. And maybe I want to sort by catalog. And I want to add a level. And I want to sort by page number. And then it goes ahead and sorts. So now if I want to sort, if I want to page through the catalog, these items should match up with the page numbers that I'm on. Please notice that some of these items are colored. I have colored the wood mount stamps, kind of this orangey color. 
the clear mount, a darker blue, and the photopolymer, a lighter blue. I have all of my item numbers. Let's see, we're in the part of the catalog that's mostly stamp sets. I have all of my item numbers in this left side. And when I go to order, I just copy this number and paste it into the order form online. But there's been a couple of times where I wanted to get a clear mount set and I ordered a wood mount because I just copied that first item number without thinking. And so with them color coded like that, it helps me remember, oh, that's right, this is a stamp set that I need to think about whether I want wood, clear, or photopolymer. So that's an introduction. I used to use the spreadsheet for all my organizing of my products. I have now used the spreadsheet to create notes in Evernote, and there will be another video on Evernote soon. So keep looking for my techie tips, and I hope to talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.